Hey guys, what's going on? It's Wendy Joe. I am back. It is 2024. Um, it's been a few weeks since I've gotten a recording up. I had all kinds of plans and it just didn't happen. But I wanted to get this video out really quickly before I get out all these other videos that are coming in the next few weeks. There's going to be a lot of videos released and tutorials and those types of things. But this is specifically an updated version on how to upload digital products to Etsy, specifically Canva templates, because if you go into Etsy and you, you know, go in to create your product, you upload your pictures, put your description, um, you do have to market that it is a digital product, not a physical product and those types of things. And so then it gives you this option to add a file and you can add up to five files. So if you're adding a PDF, a PNG, an SVG or anything like that, you can just upload up to five files directly inside of Etsy. However, they do have a 20 megabyte limit per file. So this other way I'm gonna show you is how you would also create a workaround for that. So like if you create a super large planner, a hyperlinked planner that has like 400 pages, it's not gonna be able to be uploaded because it's too big of a file. So I'm gonna show you the workaround on that as well. Um, it's pretty easy and the big question I think that people have had is Canva has made some updates. So there's several different links that are available for you to share in there and you wanna make sure that you're sharing the right one because a lot of people are having problems sharing the wrong link and then people are editing their original and everybody's editing the same version and it's it's a mess. And so I just want to clarify how to do that. So um, this is where you're gonna add it inside of Etsy, but let's go over to Canva. Um, this is one of my Canva course workbooks that obviously people can buy it, but they're gonna need to be able to edit this product. They're not gonna use all of my images and the lorem ipsum text in here. They're gonna wanna edit it themselves. So it's gotta be shared as a template. So you're gonna hit the share button and you're not gonna use this collaboration link. That is going to give someone else access to your design. This, you do not wanna mess with this. And I know in my original video, this is where the template link used to be and they've moved it and that is why it's important that you understand that there's several different links. So you do not want the collaboration link. You don't want to even do people with access to edit because again, they're gonna edit your original. You want this one that is called template link and I'm actually gonna to go to more because I want you to realize that if it doesn't show up in that original option because this is just gonna show your most frequently used ones um, it may not show up there. So if it doesn't show up there, you're gonna to go to more. You don't want the view only link because that's just going to make it like a public viewing option. You also don't want the prototype link unless you are wanting people to be able to view your entire product without editing it. You can do this. Like if you um, want to create an example in your listing description of, hey, if you wanna look at the whole book before you buy it, here's the prototype. But what you want is the one that is entitled template link, this one right here. And when you hit copy, then it is going to copy that template link. And then what I do is I create a thank you letter and I explain how they can use the product. And then this is a different thank you letter. This isn't for that same product. I create a cute little design here and then I add a link to the product right here. And so they know they click here and if you type out like for this one, it'd be course creator work, but I would type that there. And if I didn't have a link already on this, then you'd click these three dots and it would just say link, but now it says edit link because I already have one there. Um, and then you're just going to go here and you're gonna paste that link that you just copied from here into this document. So, you know, for this example, um, you know, I have, you know, several different templates in here as well as a tutorial video and I include a lot of other things, but you can just do a simple one page PDF with a, hey, thanks for your purchase, click here to download your template. And so when they, um, when they click that, then they're going to get access to a new template. And I'm gonna actually show you how, because one of the things that people talked about was that people were editing their original and it was messing it up. So I'm just gonna show you, I'm in a different account that I have that is just a freebie for me to, to edit and play around with so that I can try things out and make sure they work. So I'm just gonna go in here and I'm just gonna edit this to say, Wendy Joe, just so 
you can see that that's, that's what's done. So now I'm gonna go back over to my template. And as you can see, it still says course creator. It did not change my original. Now, if I had gone in here and shared a collaboration link, then I'm gonna copy this link. It says it can edit. So now I'm gonna go back over here. I'm gonna paste this here. So now they are editing my original design. You can see it has the MW company here and it has my account. So now if I go in here and change this to say Wendy Joe, then I go back to Canva, my original design just changed, okay? So that is the difference. And I just wanna make sure because this is one that I actually sell. So I'm making sure that I have that gone and I'm gonna go back over here and um, anyone with this link, only you can access. Okay, um, so now that is the difference between the two. So you do not wanna share this. That is why people are editing your original design. Use this one here that says template link and you will be good to go. Okay, I'm gonna quickly show you the other option. If you are having problems with um, the, the file being too big, if it's 20 more than 20 megabytes, then this is what I do. Um, under my business email, I have a Google Drive. And everything that is too big, so for instance, my black and white prayer journal is too many megabytes. So I upload my files into my Google Drive. And then over here, I make this where it's anyone with this link can be a viewer and hit copy link. And then I add that into my um, PDF that I'm gonna send to somebody. Uh, and so I could upload you know, multiple files into my Google Drive and add them all into this one. Or if you just have one and it's too big, you can just do the one. But because it's a viewer only, they won't be able to edit it inside of Google Drive, but they will be able to download it and use it however they need to. So um, that is the workaround if you have a file that is too big, that is a finished product, whether it's PNGs, SVGs, PDFs, or whatever, put them in Google Drive. You can also use Dropbox, um, but those are the two workarounds. And then once you do your PDF, you're going to share this as... I'm gonna download it as a PDF standard version because you want the links to work. Do not flatten it. Um, I don't include notes of any kind on there just because there's no reason to for me. Um, and you download all the pages as a standard PDF and then this PDF is then what you end up uploading into your Etsy digital files. So like right here's that Galentine's invitation. So I would open that and this is what they would get. So they would get that PDF and they would then be able to download that and open the links inside of it to access everything that they need. So this should answer your guys's questions. Um, just to recap, I'm just gonna go through one more time just so we know the difference in the links over here. So when you hit the share button, do not do this unless you are collaborating with someone else on a design specifically and you want them to have access to your design. You want to use a template link, which is gonna be either here, or if you don't see it, go to more and look in this share section and find the one that says template link. And that is the one that you're going to share. And so you'll add that link into your thank you letter, download your thank you letter as a PDF standard version like this. Do not flatten it or you'll lose your links. And then the PDF is what you upload to Etsy. So, and this also works for Shopify. Shopify, you can actually do a lot more with. Um, you don't have quite as many limitations, but I still use the PDF version even inside of Shopify because it tends to um, help just load faster whenever somebody visits my website. There's not as much stuff bogging it down because it's all just in one simple PDF. So I hope this helps you guys. Make sure to subscribe if you like this video. I have a ton more tutorials. I'm gonna be talking about how to create a full digital planner that's like 400, 500 pages, which you cannot do inside of Canva. I'm gonna show you the easy way to do that, the workaround, um, because I've had a lot of questions about that. We have Pinterest videos coming up. We have all kinds of things happening. So subscribe, like, appreciate you guys so much, and happy new year. I'll talk to you soon.